Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing some engraving of a coin. So, uh, in some past episodes, we've done some uh, cutting of the coin. What I want to do is I want to try uh, a 60-degree bit and do some carving. So, I've set up some carvings of these Evil Eye graphics that uh, I did in uh, uh, Cut2D. So, I'm only going to do a profile in engrave about a quarter millimeter deep. Uh, it's rather complex design, so that's where I want to see how it comes out with this. Now we're going to be using a little bit different coin. I've got a five dollar Hong Kong, five Hong Kong dollar coin in here now, and we're going to use that that I picked up in Hong Kong. And we're going to see how that comes out. It, it's got some really neat textures to it, so there's a bit of a patina finish. So I'm hoping that um, you know as I run this and you know the engraving is going to be shiny versus the patina surface and so again I want to see what kind of artistic effect I can get out of this um, on, on with the engraving with the, the uh, 60 degree bit so I've got the g-code loaded up so let's go ahead I'm gonna set it to a time lapse and we're gonna watch this thing engrave and hopefully all will go good fingers crossed So what I think I'm going to do is actually cut this down to half the cut depth, uh, half the um, uh, speed, you know, from you know basically five to two point five, and then go one point two five depth. I also don't think I need to cut as deep as I thought. So I was cutting 0.25 millimeters. Um, I don't think I need to cut that deep. I think you know one, you know, point uh, one two five millimeters or half that depth would be perfectly fine. The center actually came out, I think, uh, pretty good. The outside with the finer detail is where I think I lost it. And and what I might do is instead of um, doing each uniform, the finer detail I might cut um, smaller than the larger detail, like the center. In like the center for for enhanced appearance, I might go with uh, 0.25. Now, if you guys have experience with engraving and that kind of stuff, hit me up with some tips below. I'm definitely open to any type of tips you guys got because I think this is pretty cool. I've seen a couple hand engraved. Um, uh, well, actually, there's a number of them out on YouTube that really fascinating. And I want to be able to achieve the same thing with a machine to take an image, lay it down, and do a real fine engraving on a coin, if you will. You know, so this is only my rough start. And I wanted to share it with you guys because one of the things that I do on this channel is the good, bad, and the ugly, I share it all with you. So it's not, you know, sugar coated where I do 12 iterations and you see the 13th, which works. So I want to show you everything so you kind of learn as I learn, learn from my mistakes, you know, because I think that's also important is to see the process that I go through in learning. Because the other thing with these coins is I really have no clue what they're made out of, so it's very difficult for me to say, oh, this is such and such aluminum or mild steel or whatever, and this is the, the feed, you know, speeds and feeds for this. So, um, you know, I thought that was one of the things rather interesting because it kind of went into this coin a lot harder than it did the Malaysian coin. So, um, you know, I think that's another dynamic I have to take into, into account because maybe on a softer coin, the speeds and feeds and depth cuts I did would be fine. I don't think the depth cut, but the five millimeters I think would have been fine on a softer coin. I think this is, this is probably much harder. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I can't, since I'm zoomed in, can't give you the big thumbs up. 
Uh, don't forget the bell button over there. Yep, it's over there, which you got to go really go down below to hit it. And get the friends around it so you're notified when I put out new content like this. Uh, don't forget the swag shop up there in the corner. So a lot of great stuff for the maker out there. And again, if you get any tips for me, hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear from it. Watch for some more of this in the future once I dial in a little bit more. I won't bore you with all the iterations, but once I do come up with a better recipe, guess what? I'll definitely share it with you guys. Cheers and see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on